Thank you. Want to say hi to the people? Oscar got his uh, little baby balls chopped off, so uh, I bought this inflatable cone off of Amazon, so this would be one of my favorites as well. Because it's more comfortable on him than a regular cone, huh? Yes. You look like you're going to go flying on an airplane. <laughs> I love you. I love you. See? Well, he had a hernia as well. Okay, 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 okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hey, why haven't you subscribed yet? I like to think I'm really fun. If you're wondering why my hair is like this, it's damp. One. Two, it's damp because I hate to wash my hair. But I had to go somewhere so I was forced to wash my hair. And uh, three, I used, I left my purple shampoo on for too long so my hair turned purple in some spots. But that's okay, we're just going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. <laughs> Um, today we are doing my January favorites, and I'm really excited because I have a lot of favorites this month that I carried over from last month. So, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you're ready to see my favorites, then just keep on watching. Okay, so number one, which is what I forgot to do with the last step of my makeup, is, uh, the coconut mac uh fix plus this is the coconut one it smells delicious um i actually love my morphe spray better but i'm out of it so this is the guy i'm using <laughs> um i'm gonna start with makeup i want to i'll i'll go from like face to eyes i guess <laughs> so i want to start with my favorite foundation of all time okay i actually have two that have been my favorites this month that I've been like switching back and forth on so I'm still really loving the wet n wild photo focus foundation I'm in the shade soft beige I really like this guy still he really gives me like just the cool the best the cool the coolest base really um, and then my second favorite of all time this is just my favorite foundation of all time this is the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in the shade, <coughs> excuse me, I need a Ricola, uh, light beige. And actually what I've kind of been doing is combining these two. I know it's a weird combination, but they actually work very well together. So yeah, if I don't use this one, then I use this one. And if I don't use this one, then I use this one. And sometimes I combine them. So voila. Okay. Um, oh my God, I didn't even start with primer. Let's reverse so, as far as primer, my all-time favorite is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and the Mattifying Primer. Um, as I've gotten older, my skin has gotten more dry, but I still get oily in my T-zone. So, I like to put this guy in my T-zone, but everywhere else, because I am more dry, I don't find myself having that young, glowing skin anymore. Um, but I do love the Becca Backlighting back light primer priming <laughs> Becca backlight priming filter <laughs> so I really like to use this guy and sometimes I use them in combination I'll put this guy all over my face and then just this in my t-zone so I like those two guys for concealer I totally went against myself because I was living for the Too Faced Born This Way concealer the multi-use sculpting concealer and then I went back to my Tarte Shape Tape, and the rest is history. Okay. When I originally tried this, I had it in the wrong color. So I had it in the color light sand, and it was way too light for me. And I was just like, this sucks. <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. You know? But when I got it in the right color, I fell in love. So I knew that this was too light for me, but I had bought the... Um, Too Faced Born This Way, and then I fell in love with that one, and I was like, screw Tarte Shape Tape. And then I went, because I ran out of my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer, and it was out of stock, so I got myself the right shade in this, and then I've been loving this, loving this. What I do is I put the lighter shade that I have, like, right in the corner, just a tad, 
and then I put this everywhere else and I just combine them to brighten everything up. So been loving this guy. Bronzer. I've still been religiously using my Girlactic Casablanca matte bronzer. I love this guy. I just He's amazing. I love him. I can't there's not really much to say about him. I love him. I also really, really love the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is a medium deep. I've hit pan on this guy, so I need to get a new one. But um I switched back and forth between these two. I don't really contour that much anymore. Like I just lightly bronze. So not lightly bronze, I heavily bronze. But I don't really contour anymore, so <sighs> I just use bronzer. Um, for blush, I just, like, can't stop using the Milani T-Rose Powder Blush. This, if you've watched any of my previous videos, this has made its way. Um, and then I thought I lost it, but this is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm sure all of you have, um, seen this guy. I thought I lost him, but I found him. So this guy I've been using religiously again. But if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know how much I love the Milani T-Rose um, powder blush. It's just an absolute everyday staple for me. Eyeshadow palettes. Really. 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 I mean, really. Like, were we surprised? I wasn't. Were you? Because, like, I, I, like, I already knew my girl the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe Morphe palette and um, yeah no surprise this is heavily loved if you've watched any of my previous videos or you've seen any of my Instagram posts I'm always using that guy um, and then uh, my Morphe 35O palette of course um, but I've also been really using my Urban Decay Born to Run palette especially moving into February where I'm doing a lot more like pink looks I've been really doing like um, this guy, this guy, and this guy. That's it. So, yeah. Oh, well, highlighters. I totally forgot. I've still been religiously using the um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. Um, I think this was a holiday palette, but I don't know if you can still get it. I hope you still can because I've been religiously, as you can tell using this guy <laughs> moving on to lashes so i'm sure you guys have heard of the brand um baddie b lashes um they're on instagram at baddie b lashes um but i have been in love with um the style insto and the style extra i wear these a lot especially when i do a more dramatic eye because they are really dramatic. If you don't like dramatic, I believe they have a pair called uh, Fuckboy, excuse my language, and Saucy. I have yet to try those, but they look a little less dramatic than these ones. Like, I'll show you. Extra's my favorite, favorite, but they are, are really dramatic. They're just, they're so fluffy. I have to admit, for being so big and fluffy, they're so easy to put on and so comfortable to wear. It's the craziest thing to me. Oof, wrong way. But they really are, and they're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. If you guys go to my Instagram, um, at exostescoto beauty, I have a lot of pictures wearing them because I absolutely love them. So you can see them there and check them out on Instagram, um, at Batty Bee Lashes. They have amazing styles and they're so beautiful. What I'm wearing today are from Tarte, which is weird because I had never tried any tart lashes until I did my holiday uh, holiday glam but these are the ones I'm wearing today the tart uh, tardiest pro vegan lashes in the style heartbreaker I think they're really pretty they're really comfortable too so I'm really digging these guys they came out with a whole bunch of different ones I have yet to try any other ones but they have some really pretty ones so yeah these are in the style heartbreaker and it's no surprise that I love this Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Verona. I literally wear it almost every time I do my makeup. It's this really beautiful, like, chocolatey nude shade. I really love it. It goes with everything, so I've really been loving this guy. Of course, I've also been loving my Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick in the shade Androgyny. 
androgyny, androgyny, but it is more of a mauve nude, mauve peak color, really been loving that guy too. And this holiday season, I wore the crap CRAP ahead of my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood. That's this guy right here. Last shade, I really love some mauve, mauve nudes. So this one is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick Rouge in the shade Spoiler Alert. That's this one right here. I've officially made this. Oh my god, I can't get my leg up that high. Ape. It's a PJ party. Okay, this is part of my PJ party series. I went and got buzzed on a Sunday. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I just got a text from my boss about puppies. That's the kind of shit I like. I had to leave. Y'all have hamburgers. But I'm back. These towels were donated from my boyfriend. Um, he doesn't know that I took them until now. Uh, but I take them to the gym so that I can wipe my sweat off. Because if you don't sweat in the gym, then what the hell are you even doing there? Okay. I have to mention this Adidas bag. I got this off of Amazon. It's really, really big. I carry a lot of stuff. Like, I have a lot of stuff in this thing. You'd be surprised. It doesn't look like I do, but I do. So I'm really excited that I had a roommate, a roomie bag. <laughs> now for what's inside, because there's a lot of stuff inside that I really, 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 really like. So I bought these off of Macy's. Macy's has the um, Fastline Pro. That's your slipper, are you okay with that? You're the one who let him bring it in. <laughs> Macy's has the Fast Lane Pro. These, um, I had my eye on some Adidas that I was really, really digging. But these are actually new balance. I think they're really, really cute the way that they look. They have an in on this side, but not on this side. So the in faces out. Um, and then they have like a gray sole. And then they're just like really stretchy. I love these. They're super lightweight. Do you see how lightweight that is? Let me do it again. See how lightweight that is? You wouldn't even know. I'll do it one more time. There we go. Look, I'll put it on my head. Ooh. Didn't even know it fell. Couldn't feel it. That's how lightweight it is. I really like these guys. They were really inexpensive. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Probably got them on sale. Because I get everything on sale. But next, I'm going to move to my favorite pre-workout. And be sure you act age. I am obsessed with the brand Alani New. If you don't know, now you know. Okay, now you know, sis, if you didn't know before. The pre-workout I use is in the flavor of Cotton Candy Grape. And then the um, BCAAs, which are branched chain amino acids, um, is, in the sh is in the shade. Is in the shade Rocket Pop. It's a mix between blue and yellow and red and white. It reminds you of a good old Fourth of July, lighting off fireworks. Aspiring to be an actor, if you didn't know. These two flavors. This one, okay. I don't know if you guys remember. <laughs> I'm old, so I don't know. But if you're around my age you'd remember there was a medicine called Dimetap and it was like a grape flavored, I think it was a cough syrup. I believe it was a cough syrup. And it was like, it was, it was freaking good. Like I would pretend that I was sick so that I could be like, hey mom, send me some of that Dimetap. Give me a little ch -ch of that Dimetap. You know what I'm saying? So this kind of tastes like that. Like, it's not a huge cotton candy flavor. It's more of like a grapeish flavor. I don't know. You gotta taste it for yourself. Whoa. I 
I feel like I just did a line of cocaine and that was a lot. But yeah, this really gives me the energy I need to power through my workout because if I was waking up at a normal time, like if I was waking up at like 8 and or like 7 and going to the gym at 8, I wouldn't really take this because I have natural energy, but because I wake up at 4 in the morning <laughs> to get to the gym by 5, um, I need this. Need it. Need it. Need it. Live off of it. Love it. And my BCAAs just help with muscle recovery and... Um, yeah, I, I feel like these guys make a huge difference. I love Alani New. I also have their um, whey protein, their chocolate whey protein. That is freaking delicious. If you watch my What I Eat in a Day video, I literally drank it and like had this face that I just, oh my god, it's like... I just want it all the time. They just recently came out with energy drinks and I am a huge monster fan. Like the like the the Monster Zero, you know, like in the white can. So I might need to check that out. Can't live without these two. These are like I would I would categorize these two as um, equipment for the gym, you know. So the first is my um, bare barbell pad. So this guy is a lifesaver if you. Uh, love leg day as much as I do then this guy is your best friend so I put him on the barbell when I'm gonna do squats and he's so comfy he's so squishy and you look how thick this is it's like a pillow and I also put him on the barbell when I do hip thrusts so anytime I use the barbell for squatting or hip thrusts this guy is always on it and he is a lifesaver he's super squishy super soft so I love him also for leg day, I use my Fit Girl um, ankle strap. So this, I, um, my gym has cable machines, but they don't have any of the ankle straps. So get the bug out. I didn't invite you. So you can tell this is very loved and I've used it a lot. Um, so this guy I use for cable kickbacks um, and stuff like that during leg day. And it's pink. I mean, come on. But it's super super padded as well so it's it's got a lot of cushion to it um yeah so i love this guy i know that um grace fit uk has um her own spin on these two so i'm thinking about investing in some of hers because i've had these guys for a while but um hers are really cute and i really want some of her uh booty bands they look amazing last product is my hydro flask what is that i love you too this guy is my life i have this color in the 40 ounce i have a black one in the 40 ounce and then i have a all pink one in the 32 ounce i absolutely love hydro flasks hydro flask sponsor me Really though, I just think they're the best of the best. Yetis keep your drinks cold as well, but the thing I love about this is the screw top and the straw lid that you can get. Like, I put ice in here and I refill it all day long and it stays cold all day long until the next day. There's still ice in it. So like, tell me why you wouldn't want this. Like, I know it's a little bit of an investment, but seriously, your life depends on it. I just love this. I have so many of them. I even bought the tumbler and I use it for coffee because it's like a coffee tumbler and it literally keeps my coffee warm all day long. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ready? Hit it. So you never miss a video with I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I really gotta go to sleep. Stop licking. Oscar. Oscar. No. No. No, babe. You can't lick it.
he was looking at. He was. Yeah. I enjoy. Okay. I enjoy, baby. You're such a good boy, I have to say. You should be a good dog. You're starting to become a really good dog. Don't make it too tight, honey. That's too tight. You don't want it too loose. I know, but I feel like it suffocates him, don't you think? You got a big neck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got do, a thick neck. Look at he's all upset. He turned away from you, Matt. Oh, you are. I would like to mention in my favorites video. Could you stand up, please? Could you stand mention up? What? I want to mention you in my favorites video. Can you up, please? Not. This is uh I don't want to mention his real name for security purposes. <laughs> I already mentioned I you. Should. I already mentioned you. Come on. I already said you were a good boy. The best boy ever. The best baby ever. But I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy.